Here's a story at saucerco.com, written by Saucer, entitled, Did Billy Meyer and Bob Lazar Encounter the Same Craft? The author begins, undoubtedly, Billy Meyer and Bob Lazar are among the most controversial and compelling figures in UFO history. Their stories have become that of legend. Could they have encountered the same technology in the 1970s and 80s? According to rare Lazar footage, we are going to say that is a possibility. On March 8, 1975, Billy Meyer took his, this now famous photo of a UFO in a hilly forested area of Switzerland. Meyer's original image was used for the iconic poster from the X-Files TV show, I Want to Believe. The poster hung prominently in Fox Mulder's office. Meyer's image was used only for the first three seasons of the show, since permission was never obtained from Meyer to use the image. Nonetheless, it has been cemented into UFO pop culture and has become Billy Meyer's most celebrated photo. A lot of six similar images, including this one, taken by Meyer, sold at auction in 2019. Much like any UFO photo, the authenticity of Meyer's imagery has long been debated for decades. Throughout his life, he made several claims of regular communication with extraterrestrial civilizations. Also, he presented many photos to prove it. An auction listing for Meyer's original images states... From the 1960s to the early 1980s, Meyer took 1,476 photos and 34 films, of which about 600 photos and 9 films were of unidentified flying objects. Did Billy Meyer and Bob Lazar encounter the same craft? In the 1990s, Bob Lazar was asked in a rare interview to describe the craft he worked on, a craft he fittingly named the sport model. He described a sleek, thin-looking object. Most notably, though, he made comparisons to Billy Meyer's imagery. Lazar even said that the crafts were astonishingly similar. If Bob Lazar's story is true, does that mean that Billy Meyer's images are authentic? Although it may be difficult for some to fathom, both stories seem to be rooted in a sense of reality. Meyer and Lazar came forward with their stories in the 70s and 80s. The world was much less accepting of the possibility of extraterrestrial life and technology. UFOs and alien spaceships were most commonly the subject of ridicule, of disbelief. It is unlikely that their stories were simply fabricated out of thin air as there was possibly nothing to gain. Okay, let's check out the actual site now. Here's the auction site at Sotheby's of London. Uh, shall we continue? Yes, we shall. Here's a lot. Let me just see if I can expand this a little bit. There we go. So this is lot 214. UFO sighting, six vintage photos taken by Billy Edward Albert Meyer in Switzerland from the 3rd of March to the 14th of June, 1975. And here are the pics. Let's uh, just advance them here. There's the six photos. There they are in a on a wall. I guess that's a size comparison or just to represent to the buyer. Description, UFO sighting. A group of photographs taken by Billy Edward Albert Meyer in Switzerland. Six chromogenic prints with watermark this paper manufactured by Kodak. Two with negative numbers in blue ink. 
taken in 1975 by Billy Meyer, alleging extraterrestrial contact. Meyer, the founder of Freie Interessengemeinschaft für Grenz und Geisteswissenschaftler, Geisteswissenschaftler und Ufo Ufologie Studien, or in English, the free community of interests for the border and spiritual sciences and UFO, UFO a lot and UFOlogical studies. UFOlogical studies. UFOlogical studies. These images purport to depict an interstellar visit by spacecraft from the planet Era, two with a single UFO moving slowly over the town of Bergrumnikon in Switzerland in June, and four images depicting a single UFO in a forested hilly area of Schmidruti in Switzerland from March of 1975. The present series of photographs, along with lots 214 and 215, are among the most highly publicized and well-documented images of UFO phenomena ever recorded. And by the way, this auction is over. They estimated between 6,000 and 9,000 US dollars for the six photos. It sold for $16,250 US cash.